everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we are going to take a look at a piece of software called Grub Customizer. Uh, now, if you're not too familiar with what your Grub menu is, that's that little start menu that you see when uh, you fire up uh, Ubuntu or Manjaro or, you know, whatever Linux distribution you use. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have a real good way of uh, of giving you a picture of uh, of Grub menu. Uh, so basically, what I did, I I turned the lights out in my office and uh, took a few photos while Grub was loading up. Um, sorry, that's the best that I could do. Um, so, and sorry, the picture's not real clear, but like I said the best that I could do under the circumstances anyway um, you know you can see you know you're probably familiar with it if you're running any type of Linux system you're used to seeing you know the grub menu that pops up like that so let me minimize that get out of the way now there's there's a couple you know well more than a couple different reasons all kinds of reasons why you might want to customize your grub menu um, Let's say you are running um, both Ubuntu and Zubuntu on your system. Well, in the Grub menu, most probably they're both going to say, you know, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, as far as the menu, uh, uh, the menu listing. By doing the Grub customizer, you can go in there, you can change the... Uh, change the the title of one of them or both of them uh, so that they're correct so that when that menu pops up you're not okay well which one is it this way that you know um, you can also add background images you can also change how long the grub menu pops up or you can even make it so that that menu doesn't pop up so that you know it instantly boots right into your system uh, however you want to work with it so um, uh, you know, let's not talk about it anyway. Well, let's let's just get started with the show. All right. So there's a couple of different ways that you can install uh, the Grub Customizer. Uh, first of all, if you are running Arch or any Arch-based distribution and you have access to the Arch user repositories, that's where I found it. Um, right now, I'm running um, Manjaro GNOME, and uh, I found it in the AUR downloaded it from there if you are on a Ubuntu based distribution uh, it is in Launchpad and actually here's a um, this was on Noobs Lab a while ago I think back in past December uh, talking about Grub Customizer and and I'll throw this up in uh, in the show description but uh, it tells you how to uh, download via the terminal uh, the grub customizer so uh, you can go that route if you like uh, you can also download the uh, the tar file install it that way uh, RPM based distributions I do not know if it's available you may have to download the tar file and compile it uh, on your own I'm not sure on that one but anyway I've already installed it so let me pull it up here and you will have to enter your password all right and first thing you're going to have this list configuration this is basically what's going to pop up um, on that grub menu okay so um, and it'll show you know your breakdown you it, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a breakdown but like uh, oh, let me pull my picture up here okay you can see there's the Manjaro Linux advanced options and the memory tester alright so you, know, you can see there's the Manjaro Linux here's the advanced options then you could go and there it lists all the all the advanced options and then down here is the memory tester uh, 
and basically anything that that you view is uh, is in a dark font now if you wanted to go and change the name for one of those uh, entries it's real easy um, basically just double click on it type in whatever it is that you want and boom you're ready to go um, I don't really want to change any of this but you know just so you can see that that's all there is to it um, really easy um, uh, you know it really doesn't get any simpler <laughs> um, come here to general settings we've got uh, now by default mine was originally set up so that it will uh, it will automatically boot the previously booted entry um, if you don't select something else uh, or you can go and set it and I've seen many distributions that do this um, they have it predefined so that unless you select something else it will always launch you know um, Zubuntu or it will always launch uh, elementary OS you know whatever the distribution is um, but anyway this lets you go and change that visibility you can make it so that that menu doesn't show up uh, you can select that it does not look for other operating systems or maybe you do want it to look for other OS's um, obviously if uh, if you don't have anything else on your system why bother with having this checked the timeout that's how long it's going to lag the the menu is going to lag um, until it automatically boots now if you're someone that uh, uh, you know you almost always boot into a certain one maybe you only or a certain distribution um, maybe you knock this down to one or two seconds um, or if you got a lot of stuff on your system maybe you kick this up to 10 or maybe you make it uh, zero you know you take it all the way down to zero and it'll just automatically boot right into whatever you know whatever you've selected up here all right where was I at next oh and then here's one of my favorite parts you know the the grub menu is kind of yeah you know not a whole lot uh, um, you know it's a black screen I mean, <laughs> what else can you say um, but anyway you can go and you you could have this set for there's an the, uh, you can pick a specific um, resolution that you want your your system to show up um, you can go and change your menu colors which is cool pick your font you know uh, if you don't like you know let's say you're a Ubuntu user you can come down here and pick uh, you know pick uh, Ubuntu for your uh, uh, for the font or maybe uh, oh, what's that one that I like oh yeah I like the droid fonts I think they're on yeah there they are droid sans that's what I like make it bold and since my vision isn't quite what it used to be let's make it you know make it a little bigger and then you can also give yourself a, uh, a background uh, and I've downloaded a couple since I'm running Manjaro on my system here um, I downloaded a couple of um, uh, Manjaro wallpapers let me find one is it? There we go. There's one. So down here at the bottom of it, you can see uh, you can see a bit of a preview of what it'll look like. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, it uh, it at least dresses it up a little bit for you. And then basically, after you're done here, um, you know, all you got to do is go and click the save button that's it real easy um, really not a whole lot else to say about uh, this little piece of software uh, you know there's nothing here that you couldn't do via the terminal uh, but you know like I said this little piece of software makes it a whole lot easier to make all these changes uh, uh, 
uh, makes it a little easier to work with this thing. So anyway, uh, that's about it for the video. Um, if you got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, be sure to leave them down below. Uh, be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you can keep getting these great videos and uh, you know it gives me a reason to keep uh, to keep making them if, uh, if I've got a lot of subscribers so uh, subscribe if you like the videos. Uh, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.